here we see the weekly chart of the S&P and the total crypto index. It's really crucial for bulls or cryptos that the S&P continues at least to reside in this trading range. So we don't want to see a break of the lows. A prolonged trading range for the S&P uh, would be still a constructive environment for cryptos, an environment where we can find swing trades around the boundaries of the structures. Usually when the market is in a trading range, our selection process has to be extremely good because only a small percent of the altcoins will emerge as leadership assets. The nine weeks moving average on the total index uh, is our favorite filter for swing trades. As you can see, we are now on the cliffhanger. So usually good opportunities come when price resides above that moving average. So my strategy in terms of altcoin, more speculative assets for this week will be will still be very, very conservative. I want to see more demand at work. So I would just focus on Bitcoin and Ethereum, which usually tend to lead when we are trying to reverse. Roman, what do you think of my strategy for this week? Yeah, I think it's a good strategy. Uh, first of all, I think this is the time where we have to take chances. We have to put on the trades and see how they're going to play out. 